The Call of Duty World at Wars campaign has to be one of my favorite out of any Call of Duty and any World War game out there. Starting with the dark and depressing graphics to the brutal gore and cruel elements in every mission, World at War showed the real reality of World War II. Each mission felt like an absence of light, hope or happiness, which was always what each soldier were going through and we felt that throughout the whole game. It wasn't trying to hide anything with epic explosions and non-realistic action, because it was made with care and respect. You should have shot them, Joe. It's only cruel to prolong an animal's suffering. The one and only sniper mission from the game you're seeing here is a perfect example. You're just a lucky soldier who survived the massacre, and if you get seen, it's over. Nothing more, nothing less. They found us! We need to leave now! Hit the floor! Each mission felt like something straight out of hell. The world isn't as beautiful and kind anymore, and it definitely shows. From the war tone Stalingrad, the ultimate fall of the Berlin city, to the many Japanese islands and trenches. It's all snarled up on something. Shit! Grenade! So many decisive battles took place across this time period that the developers had almost unlimited material to go through and pull those harrowing real life experiences from and turn them into something that felt grounded and authentic. Seeing dead bodies, hung bodies almost everywhere showed the disgusting side of the war and reminded us what we're fighting for in this one. It definitely helped with the realistic side. Getting attacked by Benzai chargers throughout the whole Japanese story is something I never thought I would be so scared of. These guys are hiding in every place possible before the long-awaited ambush. The newest Call of Duty World War II we had recently is absolutely nothing like this one. It opted for really great graphics instead of beautiful storytelling and gameplay. It doesn't feel as dark and sad as World at War did. I was not invested in the characters or story and also it's out of place Michael Bay action scenes. World at War had in my opinion the best introduction to a character with Reznov. All the things he has been through you can just see it with his dialogue and just his face. The fact he was still talked about many games later in Black Ops 3 is something to behold. Well, that war is also the game to introduce zombies. The multiplayer is also very fun and offers great open maps with tanks and it is still populated to this day, even if they are act lobbies most of the time. There's so many little details that helps build the world around us and different kind of missions, which helps so much with the immersion. It's perfect. What do you all think of World at War? 
Let's talk about it in the comments below and if you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure to support by liking the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching. You can make it, my friend. You always survive.